Ladies, it's time to get rid of these fucking double standards, okay? Watch this. Same. If I'm out with the fellas or we on the game, and my girl call me and be like, hey, boo, baby, you know, I want you to come home, or can you come lay down? Fellas, y'all one man short of this group. Now, these are some of the comments from that video, and pretty much all the comments were this type of vibe. Like, you know, this type of energy we looking for, king shit, blah, blah, blah. But hold on. Now watch this. Hey, we, I could be out with my friends, and we could be having a blast. But the minute that my man calls, hello, you say what, you want me to come with? I'm out. Me and Turner. Now read these fucking comments. Especially that first one. Like, look at that first comment. Like, what, what the, what the fuck? So if a man drop everything for you, for what you need, what you want, that's king shit, right? But when it's time for women to reciprocate that same energy, when you need to drop shit for your man, now he's possessive. He's controlling. You don't want to do that. Huh? Just another classic case of women expecting men to do something for them that they're not willing to do for their man. If you have expectations from somebody that you can't deliver yourself, you have no business having that expectation, period, point blank. See, but women today, y'all have this mindset that the shit that men are supposed to do, it's an obligation. But the shit that you're supposed to do, it's a choice. Like, make it make sense. <laughs> oh my god it was the head did you see it did you see how she was just <laughs> it was the head for me huh? oh my god hilarious what up youtube this is daniel rocker with true table welcome to the table i stumbled across this video on tiktok thought i would share it with you guys because one thing i like to see is young ladies out here who are without a doubt unapologetic, who speak their mind, who have a point of reference, and above all, are making the comparison of the female experience and the male experience, and then showing you both sides. She did that. I respect that. And I wanted to touch on it, because see, you know, she made a very valid point. Why is it that when a woman states this is what she wants or this is how it should be, laying down the structure, laying down the law, showing you, telling you men, yo, this is what it is. And it's totally okay. No darts, no daggers, no grenades. Nobody's coming for her. She good. She straight. But the moment a man says hey check this out sweetie cankles i don't do cankles stretch marks i don't do stretch marks weaves i don't do weaves oh the blasphemy <laughs> like they coming for you gentlemen they coming with all the smoke they coming with every piece of arsenal necessary they gonna drag you they going to call you out your name. They going to talk about your mama. They going to talk about your dog. It's, it's, it's a real problem. But why? Why is that? Why is it that it's okay? That the male species is always up for, inter for critique. Always up to be addressed. Always up to be held accountable. I believe females have gotten away with so much nonsense. I believe women have gotten away with some of the worst crimes, social crimes, some of the worst interpretation of femininity, some of the worst interpretation of female nature. The audacity of most females now is off the charts, off the chain. And it needs to stop. But see, that requires one thing, gentlemen. That requires men collectively to start being able to ask for what they want. 
and be unapologetic to what it is they want. You know, it's sad when I see a broken man. And what I mean by a broken man is a man that doesn't understand, doesn't see, doesn't even know that he's a sucker and he's being taken full advantage of. It's the saddest sight to see. It's sad, gentlemen. It's like watching, like I operate no man left behind, but when, when you know, you as a man have to understand how this exchange is supposed to work. You as a man are supposed to understand how the dynamic of being a man and interacting with women is supposed to work. You know, I operate sometimes under the assumption, and I'll admit it, it, it may be wrong, but I do operate under the assumption that most men understand that being a man and then what comes with being a man in the response that is supposed to be women when you are interacting with them. And that may be because the way I was raised, that may be because, you know, I was fortunate enough to be around what I call the real ones. You know, my cousins, you know, some of my uncles, but mainly my cousins, my, my neighborhood friends, they taught me a lot. I was around older heads. I was around, you know, the ones. <laughs> and I picked up some things. But anyway, as a man, gentlemen, there are supposed to be things that when you interacting with a female are just not supposed to happen. You want some examples? I'll give you some examples. One, women, when they're addressing you, attitude is not supposed to exist. Now that may sound foreign to a lot of men. That may sound a little crazy. Like, what, what do you mean? Attitude. <laughs> they wake up ready, Daniel. Like, what are you talking about? Feet hit the floor. They ready to go. <laughs> I know, gentlemen. And it's wrong. It's backwards. See, women are not supposed to feel comfortable addressing herself to a man aggressively. Now, I can already hear the thoughts. <laughs> I can already see and feel the, the, the confused looks like that tilt, you know, like when dogs, when they see something and it like make their whole mind twist like, man, what you talking about, man? What you you, 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 I don't know about that, D. You had me up until that. You had me, but I, I can't rock with you. See, and that's why I'm here, gentlemen, because I want you to understand this. When I talk to men and I hear men that doubt the things that I'm saying in the, in the sense of something as simple as that, the response that is supposed to be a woman's nature, a woman's... Um, energy when interacting with a man it tells me one thing and one thing only it tells me that that man has not had enough experience it tells me that that man has not in my opinion tapped into his full potential of understanding who the heck he is um number of things but those two off the top of my head because see gentlemen the one thing i respect about women the one thing I respect about them is that without question, without fail, all women, yes, I'm going to say it, all women understand one thing. Since they are female, if they're ever in crisis situation, if they're ever in a state of needing assistance, if they ask for almost anything, from a man, nine times out of 10, they're gonna get it. Why? Because they have been convinced, conditioned, educated, shown that their response, their desires, their wants, their dreams, <laughs> their, you know, appetites, what the heck ever, in the company of men, she knows with the utmost certainty that nine times out of 10, she's gonna get it. Women understand they're not supposed to be 
abused. They understand that they're not supposed to be mishandled. They understand that a man is not supposed to give them anything other than what they desire as fair and loving treatment. And from that place of understanding, you get their responses, their temperament, you get their attitude. <laughs> You get the overall experience that is women, especially nowadays. But see, like I'm saying, I, I respect it. I respect it because, see, once you understand, once you start to tap into the expectations of things, the expectations of people, it's kind of like when you have a job and there's benefits. You understand your salary that you're expected. You understand your, your breaks that you're supposed to be receiving. You understand the benefits supposed to be activated at a certain point. It's the same thing, gentlemen. It's the same thing. And that's what I want for you guys. That's what I want overall when it comes down to this content and the things that I'm putting out. It's for men to start to grasp and understand that, hey, I'm important. I'm valuable. There are things that are supposed to come a certain way. There are things that are supposed to be handled a certain way. There are things that are supposed to be, you know, delivered a certain way when I'm involved. And until men start to really, really grasp this, start to really, really understand the mechanics of the interaction, the the the, the position, you know, the 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 benefits of it, it won't change. So that is all I have for you guys today. Go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. I think I'm four subscribers away from 400. Appreciate every subscriber I'm getting along this journey. I'm gonna continue to bring this content to you guys. Hope you're appreciating it. Hope it's being beneficial and impactful. But continue to do it. This is Daniel Rucker with True Table signing out. If you have not already done so, go ahead and hit the like button. And I'm going to be coming to you with another video really soon.